seabirds have washed ashore from California to BC. In the last day, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So it's fascinating. And you know, one last thing though, for the first time in history, I believe Hanukkah is on Thanksgiving. For the first time in thousands of years, and it will not happen ever again. Is that part of what's changing in this world too? God's trying to communicate with us something, or is this not even related? Well, uh, I can't address that because that's not something I've researched. But I have researched this backwards and forwards. And the concept that these four blood moons happen on a high holiday four times in a row with a solar eclipse in the middle is beyond the null hypothesis of probability. This is something that the Bible using the sun, the moon, and the stars as a communication system to humanity says something is about to change in world history. ISIS militants again posted a video online today that purportedly shows the beheading of a hostage. A local man saw this unidentified flying object over the weekend. He thought he knew what it was, but there was something different about this fireball. And I look up in the sky and just right in the middle of the sky, a huge fireball. I was freaking out. Never seen anything like that before. Ever.
Thank <laughs> you.